let's take a look at the porcupine system. Now, I know what you're thinking. What in the world is a porcupine system? Well, it actually has nothing to do with an animal, despite its clever name. Porcupine is actually a system of music which is very different from the usual Western musical scale. Here's a bit of soft piano music played in the system. Pretty cool, right? To better understand this, let's take a quick look at a bit of music theory as it relates to the porcupine system. Western tuning divides the span of one octave into 12 equal parts. That means that there are exactly 12 unique pitches between the two C's on the piano, not counting the high C, of course. While there is some fudging of this in styles such as blues and jazz, for the most part, this system of 12 equal notes has been quite rigid for at least 100 years. In fact, chances are most people watching this video have never actually thought about the way a piano or guitar might be tuned. You most likely assume that's just the way it is, and anything else would be wrong or out of tune. The fact is, equal temperament has really only existed for about 100 years. Before this, there were various systems of tuning which were similar to our own, yet still quite different. This is just in the West, though. The whole world has a large range of differing systems of music which are nothing like our scales. In the Western world, because we are all accustomed to 12 equal temperament, anything else may seem a little taboo or thought to be mere nonsense. There is, however, a large growing population of musicians who are reviving the art of tuning and experimenting with every possible scale. At this point, you may be confused. You might ask me, but why go to the trouble? I don't get it. The idea is new sounds. Sure, I can sit down at any piano, or you can, and make something that sounds good, or maybe not. You can write a new melody, a chord progression, or even a song. But can you play me a chord or an interval which you've never heard before? Of course not. 12ET has been almost exhausted from a harmonic standpoint. The 20th century composers probably used up the last bit of harmonic ingenuity possible. Although we're not entirely certain of this, even non-musicians agree that music which truly sounds new is extremely difficult, if not impossible. When it comes down to it, it just means more musical expression and imagination. Back to the porcupine system. This scale system is kind of like the major scale in that it's a subset of a larger tuning in which a composer could write music in that an experienced listener would hear as being in a single key. That is, as long as the listener has had enough listening exposure to the scale to understand it. The porcupine scale cannot exist in 12 equal temperament because it's made up of intervals which do not even exist in the western scale. Different keys of porcupine, just like we do with the major scale, it would require a tuning such as 22 equal temperament. That would mean that there is now 22 notes between the two C's, meaning it has a much finer distinction between pitches. Now let's look at porcupine. Porcupine has the structure of 4, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. As you can see, this scale structure is a bit different than the major scale. The scale structure can be looked at as a large step followed by a series of slightly smaller steps. Because 22 equal temperament's smallest interval is a quarter tone, that means that the small step in Porcupine is one quarter tone smaller than the large step. Before moving on, let's listen to the simple scale real quick. This sounds very little like anything Western and allows the creation of brand new musical ideas. But if you notice, it still has seven pitches and still roughly sounds like a diatonic scale. It may come as a surprise, but the scale actually has the same major and minor chords we are familiar with, although they are tuned a little differently and they occur in strange arrangement. Here is the seven note scale harmonized with major and minor triads.
In addition, this new porcupine scale allows the capability to add the 11th harmonic to music. This sound cannot be represented in Western tuning at all, thus it sounds completely novel to the untrained ear. Here's what it sounds like by itself. Here's what the harmonic as an added note in a major chord sounds like. This is just the tip of the iceberg though. Porcupine is one scale, the major scale is another scale, but there's a whole range of scales out there in different cultures and new scales waiting to be explored. I hope this video has taught you a bit about the porcupine scale system and has sparked an interest in the concept of new musical harmonies. There's a whole world of sound out there to explore, so get out there and find it.